We came out here with the idea we were going to practice. Uh, there was just more fans here. And uh, the fact that we were able to get our practice, get our work in, all the things, this is a normal practice for us. Uh, we just finished the practice rather than with the double rep team period with a little bit of a scrimmage at the end. Yeah, he tore his ACL uh, last week. Uh, sick for the kid. Love him. Uh, he knows how I feel about him. Uh, in my opinion, in a short time around him, uh, heart and soul uh, of, of our football team. The kids love him. Uh, coaches love him. He'll be back, and he's got a, a, an opportunity to get a medical hardship, and he's going to do that because he loves the game of football. And so the challenge for Justin is to be a great leader, to be that captain like he is uh, from the sideline next year. And uh, he'll be challenged by it, but uh, uh, I think he'll grow from it. I know he'll be back stronger and better than ever, but uh, he'll miss next year. But you are confident he'll be back in 2020? Oh, I'm really confident he's going to be back in 2020. Pardon me? Just his awareness of, the, of our offense, his constant uh, ability to learn more every day about uh, what we're doing offensively. He and, and Coach Klein and Coach Mess meet an awful lot. Uh, they do a great job of continuing to – give him more and more information and he's able to retain that's the thing I was so impressed with Skyler is the amount of information he was able to retain in a 15 uh, practice a 15 day practice in the fact that we threw everything in the playbook at him and some things probably emphasize more than than others but when we come back for the fall it will all be recall for him and I know the kind of work ethic he has he'll work on this stuff all through the spring all through the summer so that he'll be really refined when we come to August. You know, I appreciate Sammy because uh, I've been a part of a lot of football teams where there's excellent athletes at quarterback, and unfortunately in that position, there's one guy that's on the field. Uh, and so he came to us, and we came to him and said, Sammy, we think you're a pretty good athlete. You know, we, we want to see you do something else. Can you get on the field for us? And he said, absolutely, I want to. And, and a tight end is, is a position that is of need for us. Uh, and he, so he embraced it, jumped in. Um, and I think we've had him probably there the last eight or nine practices. I've uh, been really impressed. He'll be in the mix for us next year. What do you think of the starting defense? Well, the guys up front are pretty dang good. You know, we've got a book in defensive ends and, and, and Deshaun inside. We've got a number of bodies inside. I like the defensive front. That's where it starts, obviously, for us. When we lost Justin, then we moved Eli to the Mike Backer position. Um, and so we put a little bit more on his plate. We're learning in the secondary. We're still mixing and matching guys. We've flipped Goolsby and, and uh, uh, Alexander, and we flipped uh, uh, Wayne a little bit, just position so we can find the best position that'll fit them in August. We did the same thing with Walt. You know, Walt played nickel for a while, now he's playing corner. That'll still be a work in progress. We're trying to find the best four back there or five when it comes to nickel. So that'll be something we'll still conti uh, continue to tinker with throughout August. Running back was a big question in the spring. How did you come out? Yeah, I, I feel better about it today. Obviously, there's there's ongoing competition. I thought James has probably been the most consistent. That's why we didn't give him as many repetitions today. Uh, Harry's been nicked up. Tyler's been nicked up, so they've missed some of those scrimmage days. So that's why it was better for them to have a heavier workload. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be an ongoing battle as we get into the fall with uh, those guys as well as some young guys. We have great competition. And in the offenses that I've been a part of with Coach Mess and stuff, you got to have a variety of guys. You just can't have one. you got to be able to have some guys. I've been really impressed with Joaquin, especially with Zub out this spring. Um, he's taken on that role of being a playmaker. He's continuing to learn the game. You know, he hasn't played a ton of football for us, so he's learning the game. He's learning from Dalton Schoen. He's learning from Jason Ray. Uh, I've been really impressed with his ability to, to bounce back every day and make plays. Every day we've seen a play like you saw out there today uh, where somewhere along the practice he's going to hook up for a big play, and that's what he's got to be as a big playmaker for us. You know, Hunter's getting better. Um, he's missed some time as well, and so we've got to get him back uh, with a great spring and a great summer. But he has, he has a world of ability, and I'm excited to see, once again, just like everybody else, when we reinstall all this stuff, uh, when we get to, to early fall in August, how much retention everybody has so that they just play faster. That's the one thing. It's hard time. It's sometimes difficult to tell how talented a young man is if they don't know what they're doing. Uh, now they're starting to get the understanding of our schemes offensively and defensively. They'll continue to do that themselves with captain's practices this spring and summer. But when we get into August and we reinstall it as coaches, I look for really quantum leaps with a lot of guys. How tight right now is the backup quarterback race? 
It's tight. I, I like the, the competition we have there. All of them are doing some special things. All of them are learning the system. It's it's no different. Skyler's got the big advantage because he played some Big 12 football for uh, for us. And uh, But it's an ongoing battle. And I, I'm smart enough to realize you better have more than one trigger guy. Every place I've been, you need to have a number of guys that you can count on. And so I look forward to that battle continuing through the fall. You mentioned Hunter. Uh, do you see the hunger and excitement for him just since he had to sit out last year? Uh, yeah, I, absolutely. And there's a number of guys that uh, uh, have maybe missed some time that uh, – uh, you know, we got a lot of guys out there in red jerseys. So there's, a, you know, I look at Eli Sullivan the same way. Uh, miss some time and, and have that hunger and to be able to go out there and compete. You know, football is a, a violent, tough game. And when you get it taken away from you, uh, you come back hungrier than ever. And, and, and you want to have that feel of being out on the field between the, between the lines with your brothers.